If you're a print on demand seller who hasn't tried mid journey yet, this video is for you. My goal is to provide an easy to follow tutorial. And I even put together a Google doc in the description that outlines everything we're going to cover to make your life even easier. But I just want to show you how valuable mid journey can be on a very basic level for print on demand sellers. So let's get started. If you're new to mid journey, you have to use discord in order to use the mid journey AI. If you've never used discord before, this will take you a few extra minutes to get started because you're going to have to go create a free discord account. Now I'm going to link you to the mid journey quick start guide, which breaks everything down into something like 10 steps or less to get started so that you can use the mid journey bot. One of the requirements, actually the first one is to log into your discord account. So again, if you don't have one, you can make one for free next subscribe to a mid journey plan. If you use the annual plan, you can pay as little as $8 a month. Otherwise it's $10 a month in order to get started. Now go to discord, add the mid journey server. This means you're going to become a member of the mid journey server where the mid journey bot hangs out so that you can give it prompts and it will generate a response using the mid journey AI. You can do this in either the general channel or the newbie channel. And actually what you can do is you can invite the mid journey bot to your discord server. That's what I did. And I'm going to show you how I use it in this tutorial for print on demand sellers. But my goal is not just to read through the <laughs> quick start guide, but I will link to that for you uh, in the description. I'm actually going to link to you um, this document I put together, which is basically a quick start guide with all the written links for you in one place to really try to make your life as easy as possible. But the first thing I really wanted to show you with mid journey, and this is for starters, is that you can actually look at how other people are using it in the community feed. Now, if you got as far as joining the mid journey discord server, you'll actually notice there are plenty of people in there interacting with the bot and you'll see the outputs that they're generating. You can also go to the community feed and use a search function and seek out specific things. One thing print on demand sellers need is mockups, right? We need to make our products look good and do digital renderings of what the finished product will look like in real life after the customer makes a purchase. Well, you can actually go to the feed and type in, you know, t-shirt mockup if you want to and look at all of the previous mockups that have been generated by mid journey in the past. Now this is potentially going to serve as inspiration for mockups that you yourself can have mid journey generate on demand. Now you may not know how to do that, but what you can actually do is you can click any of these that you see in the search results, then click these red dots, click copy and then click prompt. And what this will do is it will copy to your clipboard the exact prompt that was used to generate this image. And this works for more than just print on demand mockups. You can type in literally anything and it will go back and look at what mid journey has generated for you or for others. Sorry, not for you, but for others in the past. Now you can take this prompt and jump on over to mid journey. And here you can see some of the stuff I was working on previously. And I'll talk you through what I was working on. Uh, but then all you have to do is type into the message bar slash imagine space, and you'll notice the prompt bar pops up and then paste. And what I've got right there is the prompt that was used to generate this mockup. And it is blank t-shirt mockup to use for creating and editing clothing samples. Boom. If I go ahead and run that, it'll take a minute, but eventually it will come up with four different renderings of a very similar output. You can also get more descriptive. I actually, in this case, typed in smiling blonde wearing Heather peach t-shirt facing forward. Now, not all of these uh, that it returned as results are going to be exactly what I asked for. And they're not all going to make great mock-ups. But again, what you can do is let's say this one is the closest to what you think would work for your Heather peach, you know, Bella canvas 3001 t-shirt mock-ups. Again, click the three dots, click copy, click prompt and run it in your discord server. I actually did this previously 
and you can see the output it returned right here. Not too bad, right? You can probably work with all four of these if we're being honest. And what you can do is you can actually click the U1, U2, U3, U4 to have uh, Midjourney upscale the images for you. But I actually want to show you how I would go about upscaling myself. Um, well, it depends, right? It's, it's dynamic. But there are free upscaler tools out there. There's Topaz AI, which isn't free, but that's probably the most popular one that at least I'm aware of. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I use the My Design software to upscale as well. But I want to show you how I uh, basically generated some t-shirt designs like the one you see here using Midjourney. That is the second thing I want to show you as a beginner how Midjourney can assist your print-on-demand business. So again, you can type slash imagine and in order to generate this cat image, the prompt I used was cat t-shirt design and then I did space dash dash no space mock-up so that the real signal I'm trying to send the AI is to just render the design itself. Don't mock it up at all uh, being worn on a product or anything like that. And ideally what I then want to do is remove the background, upscale it and make it available for sale on print on demand products. Here's another example. This was a uh, cartoon forest graphic of a train going through the forest. And you can uh, include different things in your prompt. Words like graphic, vector, contour. You can say isolated on a white background in an attempt. And when you say white background, you know, it could be whatever t-shirt color you envision. That way you can kind of see the output against what your t-shirt mock-up is going to look like right when uh, Midjourney creates the mock-up itself. So down here, we ran the t-shirt prompt from just a second ago. And here is what it came up with. Okay. Now, the last thing I wanted to share with you on the design front is that if you have a graphic you really like, for instance, I love this cartoonized picture of my micro chihuahua Pablo. Uh, I love this. I just can't get enough of this graphic. I love it. Love Pablo. And I don't know what prompt would describe this if I want to have mid journey generate images for me that I can use as t-shirt designs based on this. So what I did is I typed slash describe into the mid journey um, or in this case my discord server with the mid journey bot where I invited it and when you do that and you hit spacebar it actually lets you drag and drop an image into there and it will give you the their best attempts the AI's best attempts at generating a prompt based on that image so you can actually see it gave me four different prompts based on my cartoon graphic of Pablo and I ran them a couple times and I tweaked the various prompts based on the outputs that I was getting. All right. Ultimately, I landed on long hair chihuahua dog face only in the style of digital art techniques, dark brown and light beige, multidimensional shading, clear edge definition, loose paint application, t-shirt design vector contour. And then we did uh, dash dash AR. So I think it's telling uh, telling mid journey like what rendering model to use and then dash dash no mock up. All right. And here was the output that I ultimately really liked and wanted to work with. So I downloaded this image from mid journey. I cut it up into four different graphics. All right. That I'm then going to use um, in my quest to turn this into T-shirt designs. OK, so I have these I turned, you know, this, you know, kind of mosaic of the four dogs. I manually cut them up into the individual graphics, all right? And then here's the last part of the tutorial. We're gonna branch out from Midjourney for just a second. I wanna show you how I uploaded these to my designs. You guys know I love this software. And by the way, my designs has integrations with their Dream AI, but I wanted to make this video about Midjourney, so we're gonna stay um, focused on Midjourney. But ultimately, what I did in my designs, this is just another way this software is so powerful. The first thing I did is I vectorized the graphics after uploading them. And I actually like the way the vectors look. I'm, it might be hard to notice in this video, but there are little differences from the original to the vectors. And I think the vector actually looks better as a graphic in general. Once it's vectorized, you can upscale them. Okay. You can upscale the graphics, but then we still need to remove the background. Well, guess what? My designs has a background remover built in as well. Okay. And then you can go ahead and position the graphics as you would like them on a t-shirt mock-up 
and then still in my designs we're doing all of this in my designs and guys it takes like one minute to do all right it seriously takes like one minute to do if you know what you're doing well i'll do a separate video on my designs i had a request come in the other day i think it's a good idea and then after that guys you can literally create your t-shirt mock-ups in my designs on command in bulk all right so i think that looks pretty good i'm very happy with how it turned out and this all originated in mid journey and that's all started in this case with me uploading a graphic that i really like of my dog using that as inspiration for the various prompts that i can input into the mid journey ai you see the various outputs guys ultimately we decided to work with this one we pulled it up into my designs removed the background vectorized it upscaled it and then mocked it up and now we can push it directly to our etsy shop make it available for sale with automated fulfillment i mean if your head didn't just explode with how lucky we are to be selling print on demand in today's day and age i don't know what will i am excited guys i hope you found this useful just to make your life easier for free i'm putting a link to this google doc with everything i just covered for you in the description of this video i'll also put a link to the mid journey quick start guide and a link to my designs i hope you find that useful guys let me know if you have any feedback any suggestions for me in the comment section please hit the like button on your way out and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you tomorrow with a new video